Essentially, if John Wick was your dad. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Nobody. This was a movie that I was actually really interested in seeing. It's been a while since I've seen anything John Wick-like. The last one really being John Wick 3. And admittedly, while I did enjoy the stunt work of that film, the story was so small that I was kind of looking forward to something a little bit different. Admittedly, Nobody does borrow a lot of elements from John Wick. The idea of someone having such a credibility to their name that people will put themselves behind safe lock doors that have 10 locks. Governments will step in and immediately clear up the scene when it's involved with this person. It's just a reputation of humor, violence, and well choreographed stunt work. This is kind of like a light-hearted John Wick. The fight scenes, the fight choreography is still very well done. If maybe kind of devolving into simplicity, it still keeps that feeling of realism and brutality through its fight scenes up until the latter end where it, it kind of just drops into comedy zone. I still will say that I enjoyed this movie a lot because of the main character played by Saul from Better Call Saul. He does a really cool interpretation of someone who's just so down in this rut, so miserable with their existence and wanting something to happen to them. There's a voiceover that happens every so often through the film and sometimes it works and sometimes it kind of seems a little bit unnecessary but there's a few points especially when it comes to the bus scene that he just like please god open that door I need to fuck someone. <laughs> I, there's a lot of laughs. There's a lot more laughs in this movie than I was expecting. I was really impressed with Bob. I didn't think that he was capable of doing a role like this, and that's probably one of the reasons why they might have thought about casting him, because this is kind of a turn for the actor, especially for people who watch Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul. But he did a good job. Like, apparently he was training on and off of this movie for two years. You can see the work that he puts in. And it was really cool to see just this casual guy turning into this super killer. Again, the reason why everything kind of goes wrong is very similar to that of John Wick in terms of there being a family member of some big old gang being wronged and in the end they're like oh wait who the fuck are we dealing with while as basic as it was i did enjoy how it looked like this was a fun movie to put together and funnily enough it was shot in winnipeg which you kind of see they don't do a lot of wides because they had to digitally add in mountains out there because it's flat as shit nobody is a pleasant surprise for those of you who haven't had a john wick fix in a while this will definitely take uh, the edge off for those of you who want a fun, funny action movie, this will also take that off. Christopher Lloyd's in it as Bob's dad, and he has a lot of really funny bits in this movie. In the end, Nobody was something that I actually enjoyed. I really wanted to see it in theaters, but unfortunately the drive-in wasn't showing it, so I had to rent it for $24. I don't even own it! And I paid that much. But despite that loss of money, it's still a fun time. I would definitely recommend it. And I'm going to give Nobody a 5 out of 7. Really, there's so many bits in this movie that are very quotable. Especially the bit about the kitty bracelet. That was a very, very funny little bit. It's shown in the trailer, but there's a little bit more to it in the movie. So yeah, I would definitely check it out. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz. And you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.